It feels like every other month when I see RPG games just blowing up all of a sudden, whether that be RPG games that deserve it, like Fairy Ash and Stars and Divine RPG, or games that some people consider overrated, much like Devil's RPG. Now, I said Devil's RPG was good, in my opinion. However, though, did it really deserve how the when I think how the when I look at it now, it's like, did this movie deserve as much attention? I mean, sure, it does have it's different with its design stuff. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that, um, I'm just saying, like, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy that we see a lot of RPG, we've seen a lot of RPG games being blown up recently. But while we have that, um, we, we don't, we haven't been seeing games such as, as Cytophobia RPG, Exterior RPG, and are RPGs like that, been blowing up. We haven't seen those games blowing up. But that, and that's crazy, because those games have been around for over, nearly, for, since the start of the year, which I find crazy, because, like, those games have been working hard to make new features and stuff. Like, I did a video on Sonophobia RPG a couple months ago, or a couple, like a couple hours ago, actually, worked saying that, probably, saying it's probably, probably perhaps one of the best RPGs being awarded in 2024. And you may wondering why I'm saying this. That's a story for another day, though, because our, these RPG, we're, because there's actually a problem that RPG games have been, or RPG games have been having recently. And it's not just our, it's not our every RPG game, it's, if anything, it's probably more so of the game, or more so the Orange RPG kit, RPG games. That's right, the infamous, RPG, that's right, the game, you, the kit that has helped a lot of people, aka, aka the game, aka, what's it called, um, aka the Orange RPG games that, that were used with Orange RPG kit, like Chaos RPG 2, um, Deathless RPG, not saying that they're bad or anything, I'm just saying that. They're in, they're in, they're gonna be in some hot water because they have, because recently some exploiters have discovered a new and improved, a new flaw within the Orange RPG kit video. Or the Orange RPG kit, game, kit itself. And here's what I'm gonna say. It needs to be addressed and it probably is gonna cause every Orange RPG kit game, because it's gonna cause every RPG kit every Orange RPG kit game to is to see the same problem that Devs RPG has. It has to do with quests. And it originated from this 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 hour this this comment I got a couple hours ago receiving this thing. Exports can now use a request from from to edit quest awards. And this is from the one of the Devils RPG scripters Love Wonder if I'm correct. I don't know if it, what his actual name is. Um I look, oh it's oh it's Hexen. Hexen. Um not he Hayes it's not Hayes it it's Hexen one of the RPG develop one of the Devil's RPG scripters and stuff. And I'm not sure what's going on here, but it can probably cause a lot of problem stuff and it's just in my opinion, this can probably cause this and it's probably gonna cause a lot of problems and stuff. And if anything, Devil's RPG has had has been affected with this pretty badly, especially now that it's receiving more attention than many other RPG than many of the many other RPG games in the past. Man, this can probably be a big problem because Devil's RPG has about has a pretty big player base, considering it has 600 players and 303,000 players or 300,000 visits. Which I'm surprised, by the way. Um, congrats to Swap for that, honestly. Um, but not sure if deserve not. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is that this can cause a big problem because with because with more RPGs like this pop up, like because if more RPGs pop up like this, they're going to get exploited more and. It's going to cause a lot more because, you know, with Orange RPG Kit being more, um, because Orange RPG Kit is open source. Basically, like, you can, um, you can basically see the code itself. You can just, all you can, like, it's so simple. Like, all you have to do is just go into the models. You got, all you can simply do is, like, go into the model from the game or get a model from it. Like, I can show you how easy it is to get the code. Like, all you had to do is simply go into the studio and try and, you all you have to simply do is get it, get the model and try in your studio. And all of a sudden, you have, you simply have all, all the code to, Basically, use you can use you can create exploits to create to make other game to make to cause mayhem in every Orange RPG kit game, and this is this is the problem with Orange RPG kit. It is absolutely in it's absolutely unsecure. It's and I know I might say it's and every RPG game might be having causing this problem, but I'm saying it's because Orange RPG kit has is come is in every is nearly in every RPG game we've seen this year. Like Divine RPG, Chaos RPG, I think at least. Um, there's also more RPG, and there's also more such, and also there's also like, um, and the Devil's RPG is no exception because that also uses Orange RPG kit. And I'm trying to say it's because 
I feel like if we don't do anything, I feel like there hasn't really, there is really, and I'm trying to figure this out too, by the way. I'm trying to figure this out, like, what to fix this disc and stuff. I was about to talk for clanking. I think that's my girlfriend right now. She's awake, apparently. Uh, she wasn't awake earlier, but now she is awake, so hi, Lydia, to her. Also, thought she'll shout to her. Um, she, uh, she's been doing pretty well um, recently. I mean, so I've been really happy to have her um, with me recently. She's been helping me a lot, so. Especially with the, with uh, with uh, making videos more fun. We actually did a video recently on, on uh, what's it called? Um, Exterior RPG and Son of Phobia RPG. I'll, I'll actually have it in my Topics channel. We actually have it in our Topics co uh, combined channel or conjoined channel, which we will actually link down below if you guys want to take a look at it for yourself. But basically, we won't try, but that's that's not the point. The point of this video is to make, show you guys that even it, that this is the problem with RPG kits. Um, they are going, people are going to find ways to make are going to find ways to, are going to, they're, 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 they're just going to find ways to over, to do, to redo, or not redo, but they're going to find ways to, ways to exploit it and make, and basically exploit, exploit, exploit and cause mayhem in the servers. And with it having 600 players, I can guarantee you some of those 600 players probably might be exploiters. I mean, let's be real here, I've seen someone called Team Hacks on, on in the in in the in the leaderboard recently, and that guy has over a fuck ton of gems and all stuff. And if and if you thought and you thought that was weird, um, then let me tell you this. And if you think that's awful, let me tell you this too. It's also affected their updates as well. Basically, Devil's RPG has come with an update saying that um that they have removed their currently disabled quest due to an exploit. That is crazy. Having to disable quests for an update is insane, but having to disable quests for an, because another exploit is insane. But um, you gotta admit for what that's worth. Um, and yeah, so clearly this this can have a huge impact on RPGs as a whole and how, how much fun it can have. And if you guys don't really think that can be, it's not a very really big deal. Then you can also admit too that exploits can also somewhat um, and just shows that exploits are currently coming back and stuff and. Um, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna come more, and they're gonna come back way more harder than ever before. Like at some point, I bet you're not sure if they have it now, but there used to be an exploit on Roblox where basically you could basically steal an entire map of an RPG game. I've had seven tonight, Lordy, and I've had this happen. And many of our games have had have, have this. Like there's this one, like right now, Lords of the Woodyverse has their full entire goddamn map up. Like someone was able to exploit it and were, was able to save their instance and somehow was able. Well, somehow I don't know how. To, I don't even, I know how to do this since I got a, I had a talk with um, True Reset, who is uh, one of my mates of mine. Uh, True Reset, um, Spaceman from Roblox. He's a good guy, by the way. All, so I just want to say um, huge shout out to him. He's a he's a pretty cool mate, I gotta say. But basically, he has told me that this is a big problem. And previously, before um, Bifron came out, but Bifron has has been out for a while now, and if that. It hasn't had much updates to it, and if that came, a rise of exploiters who were able to bypass Bifron, which I mean, I mean, we we should have seen this one coming by the long world, honestly. But anyways, you can clearly tell that this right here is a huge deal. Like, Lord, like Lords of Moyverse's map, like you can simply find Lords of Moyverse's map on Roblox. I'm not gonna show you how because I'm not gonna, I know I don't condone to stealing anything, but. What I'm trying to say, I, I don't get down to like exploits or anything like that. I mean, personally, I mean, sure, I mean, we all need to, I'm mean, sure we all, we, we all want to have fun. But stealing our, I mean, sure, stealing is, a, stealing is nothing new in the in the Roblox community, especially RPGs itself. I mean, we all have been there before. I mean, we all have stolen some stuff from time to time, especially if I know honestly. I mean, the free models from, free models, like Doors has had had their assets leaked from because of free models. Same with Lords of Multiverse, and same with, um, probably this game is probably going to have their, their stuff leaked eventually at some point too. And, I mean, it's just, it's, it's normal. And that right there is something that is, and that is why RPG development is, is really scary to me. And like, I, like, RPG development is, like, I mean, sure, you're gonna, you're gonna, everything's gonna, you're gonna have people who are gonna steal stuff from you and all that stuff. However, though, the truth, and that's what many people have been saying, and, and the truth is that a lot of people are gonna go do that and stuff, and, like, and, and how, though, even if the fear is, and you just gotta let go of the fear and just, uh, and just admit that people are all gonna steal stuff no matter what you do, like, people are gonna steal stuff, and no matter what you do, you, there's always going to be people who bypass your security, your 
your events, you know, your everything. So at the end of the day, that, that's just how things are. So, and I know it sucks to say it, but your RPG game might have been stolen without even realizing it. If you guys do have an RPG game, which by the way, I'm Bill, so sorry for you guys. But yeah, apart from that, I have nothing else to say other than I think... So what do I what am I gonna take what what do I take what am I gonna what's the takeaway of this video about this? Well, the truth is that this is that making an RPG game has some side effects when it comes to this. Where it becomes where's due to motivation or I mean where's due to motivation or um, some other stuff like this. But nonetheless, there are always gonna be some people who are going to um, take who are going to use your stuff without like who are going to bypass security and stuff like that. That is what some people are. That's just how life is. Life is gonna be that life is gonna be a bitch and, and life's gonna be a bitch gonna to show you that some that things are always gonna happen. Shit's gonna happen. That's all about life. But how you handle it is gonna has way more better impact. I mean and all that stuff. And that's the truth. Another thing is that, or is that this is, this is also another another takeaway from this video is that Orient is that using public accessories or public models or public open source code can also have an impact in your game as well because if you didn't modify it, your game is fucked. Your game is going to have a whole lot of a whole lot of it's going to have a whole lot of um problems with it because people are going to find exploits because if because since all this open source, people can use that open source code to create exploits in your in the kit that they can use for games that have that that have that kit. For example, Devil's RPG, Quick Chaos RPG, and many RPGs like that. Hell, even Legend of the Purple Raven Ravecraft is is in, is also effect, is going to be affected by this. And this is and this is why a lot of people and this is why I say this to choose your RPG kits wisely, whether you want to make modifications to it and stuff. And yeah, like. And all that stuff. And if you guys do know how to, um, but as long as you guys do know how to prevent this stuff, like prevent, prevent, add more security, buff up the security in this game, in the kid stuff, then you should be good. But I can guarantee a lot of people who don't, who don't really play, and this is my, this is from experience, but I'm not sure if it's changing much, changing much, but I have experienced, I've seen a lot of people who've, who've made RPG games, they don't really know much about scripting. Like, for example, um, I do know, I don't really know, like, I don't know much about scripting much. That's why I'm taking, that's why I'm, a, I'm in a goddamn ed college course of game development. I may, and that's why I'm trying to and learn more about this. So yeah, I don't know what to say, but you can, you, you get, get, you can get the gist of the idea. So at the end of the day, RPGs are just, RPGs have been, have always been able to be exploited and by front was just a way, was just a, by front was more so, was more so of a security measure. It was more so just, it was more so just a um, delay, honestly. Like, we all knew this was going to happen eventually. By front was eventually going to be bypassed, and exploits are back to normal in the new days. So yeah, 2024. Crazy, right? It's crazy that we're already eight days, eight months old into 2024. That's crazy, if you think about it, because a couple months ago, I, because it was literally like, what, like, let me check real quick. It was literally like two months ago when I. It was like it was already like two months ago since I since I made bacon R, since I made a big RPG video, which then that gave to one point two k views and yeah. And well, LTM's fiftieth video it on my my fiftieth LTM video is over has was has been around since May tenth. That is already three months old. Lord, time is so going far between. That is just crazy, if you ask me. And yeah, and before I say anything, I, and I'm just gonna say this once more, I I have no hate to any RPG developer, honestly. Everyone deserves to make, everyone has their way of making their creativity, showing their story, and all that stuff. I mean, Devil's RPG, they have their way of sharing the story. That's what, that's what Devil's RPG is, a story. And, same with exteria, same with xenophobia. Every way, every game we've seen is is basically a story that I've seen. I mean, I mean, you can call me crazy if you want, but the reason I mean, you can call me crazy if you want, but I I the real reason why I really love game development so much because it's a way to tell a story, share an idea, tell a story. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, we are all going to make it. This is all going to happen. It, you know what I'm saying? It's it's weird to say, but I, I'm not sure what I'm saying. But I'm trying to tell you guys that. If you guys have a story to tell, and if you guys 
are willing to take any upon the effort and take any criticism and not and and fight the and not worry about the and you guys aren't really and you guys don't mind um, the fear of having your stuff stolen. Then be my guest, make an RPG game, and show the world what you got. But yeah, fans, probably you guys for sure. You guys enjoying? Thanks for watching. If you guys want any posts or comments? Then please be sure to subscribe, like, and turn on bell on the channel. But you also not miss video. I really apologize for not being, been, haven't really been posting much. But apart from that, there really hasn't been much I really have to say now. I've just been busy with uh, game development, college, and you know, just girlfriend stuff in general. But hey, that's just another day for you. That's life. Life it gives you. Life throws you curveballs that you may never expect. Much like how explorers throw you curveballs that show you that even the most even the most secure of games can have can can le quite literally be bypassed. That's life for you. You may nothing's impossible at the end of the day. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Big King Six now. Have a good one. Peace out.